Why do you want to sign Zinedine Zidane when we have Tim Sherwood? Jack Walker in 1995. Let's compare football and achievement, shall we? Zinedine Zidane. One World Cup, one European Championship, four Champions Leagues, two Serie A, two La Liga, one Italian Cup, two Spanish Super Cups, four UEFA Super Cups, two Intercontinental Cups, two Club World Cups, one Ballon d'Or, three FIFA World Player of the Years, 108 caps for France, 31 goals, and even two UEFA Intertoto Cups. Tim Sherwood, one Premier League, one EFL Championship, three caps for England, zero goals. 1995, Zinedine Zidane was three years into his tenure at Bordeaux. The Frenchman, just 23, had broken into the French national team the previous year. He had won 30 youth level caps for his country and had helped Bordeaux to an Intertoto Cup win in 1995. Along with Lizarazu and Dugri, Zidane was one of a handful of young talents coming through at the Ligue 1 club. Blackburn Rovers had climbed to the summit of English football that summer through the partnership of Chris Sutton and Alan Shearer as well as the first occurrence of buying the Premier League under Jack Walker. 1998, Zinedine Zidane won successive Serie A titles with Juventus as part of a side competing both domestically and internationally. He had just won the World Cup. Tim Sherwood was just nine months away from steering Blackburn Rovers to relegation from the Premier League four years after they won the title. 2003 Sherwood would end his top flight career Zidane earned his first La Liga title with Real Madrid and was the most expensive footballer on the planet. Today, Tim Sherwood is without a job in football management. Zinedine Zidane is in his second tenure at Real Madrid. His first, of course, he won three successive Champions League titles and a La Liga title. On the other hand, Blackburn Rovers have been out of the top flight since 2012. In 2017, they were relegated to the third tier of English football. Currently, they are in the Championship in mid-table. That's why he signed Zinedine Zidane, Jack. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly, and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if... Zinedine Zidane signed for Blackburn Rovers in 1995. Jack Walker opened up his checkbook and pried Zinedine Zidane from Bordeaux for a whopping 3.5 million. Instead of replacing Tim Show as part of the 94-95 PFA team of the year, the Frenchman played alongside him in a 4-4-2 which included Stuart Ripley and Jason Wilcox on the wings, with SAS pairing of Shearer and Sutton up top. Zidane netted and assisted in his debut a 3-2 win at home to title rivals Manchester United in August 1995. Domestically, Blackburn flattered to deceive, falling to third place behind Manchester United and Newcastle, the latter of which fired out of the blocks to a 12-point lead. Zidane was instrumental in Blackburn's run to the FA Cup semi-final where they lost to Liverpool. Rovers even found the semi-final in Europe. It was Zidane who was the peace broker pulling Graham Lasso and David Batty apart in a Champions League group stage tie in Moscow. He laid into them at half time turning a 1-0 loss into a 2-1 win and qualification to the quarter-finals. Blackburn would eventually fall at the semi-final stage to Ajax and due to their domestic position Zidane would have to wait until the 97-98 season to return to Europe's top table. Jack Walker's checkbook returned to the fore in the summer of 1996. Ugo Ekiog, Les Ferdinand and David Ginola were bought in. Perhaps the best coup for Blackburn was the returning of Zinedine Zidane and Alan Shearer. Blackburn raced into the season with 9 wins from the opening 10 games. This effectively gifted Blackburn's second Premier League title in 3 years. Zidane was awarded the PFA Player of the Year and scored 21 goals from midfield, a Premier League record. The Holy Trinity, as it was known in some quarters at Ewood Park, consisted of Les Ferdinand and Alan Shearer up front and Zidane slightly behind them. The three all converged at the same time, a UEFA Cup quarter-final against Newcastle, where all three netted in a 5-1 away win in one of the best displays of that season. Again, Blackburn would bow out in a European semi-final to Inter Milan, whilst a Wembley date with Chelsea in the FA Cup final wasn't successful. That summer, Jack Walker balked at a £15 million fee tabled by Juventus for Zidane. The following season, Blackburn's bargaining power over Zidane waned as they were pipped at all three domestic titles by Arsenal. A 0-0 draw at Ewood Park on April 13, 1998 was a difference in the Premier League as Blackburn lost to Arsenal by a single point come May. Arsenal eliminated Blackburn from the semis and the quarters from the FA Cup and League Cup respectively. Arsene Wenger doing a double in his first full season as Arsenal manager. Thankfully for Blackburn though, Arsenal weren't entered into that season's UEFA Champions League. However, a continental fawn in Blackburn's side both on and off the pitch were Juventus. After the transfer business of the previous summer, Zidane put to bed any speculation, scoring in a 3-3 draw at home to Juventus. With wins home and away over Feyenoord, Blackburn were left needing a win in Turin to qualify as group winners. Who else but Zidane to hit two goals in a 2-0 win to stun the Stadio delle Alpi, which left Blackburn with a kinder path to the final. Dynamo Kiev and Monaco were beaten in the knockout phase, Zidane assisting in all four matches. 
May 20th, 1998 at the Amsterdam Arena, déjà vu occurred, Juventus in the final. Their midfield three of Antonio Conte, Edgar Davids and Didier Deschamps overran Tim Sherwood and Zinedine Zidane in the middle of the park. Alessandro Del Piero hit the sickening blow just after the hour mark to confirm another Champions League title for Juventus, their second in three years. There was further disaster in pre-season for Blackburn, Zidane's performances against Juventus in the Champions League coupled with a winning performance at the 1998 World Cup as well as money running dry at Ewood Park, Blackburn could only keep one of Zidane, Shearer, Ginola, Les Ferdinand and Tim Sherwood. Zidane was flogged for 25 million to Juventus, a world record fee. He would break the world transfer record again in 2001 to Real Madrid where his successes would be unparalleled both on and off the pitch. Let's go back to Lancashire. Blackburn couldn't replicate their performance in Europe without one segment of their holy trinity and were eliminated at the groups thanks to Bayern Munich and Barcelona. They dropped behind Chelsea, Man United and Arsenal to 4th place domestically and would drop further to 8th in the new millennium. It was a new millennium without Alan Shearer who left for Arsenal for 17 million, an Arsenal team that toppled Blackburn in the 2000 UEFA Cup final on penalties. Blackburn would remain in the Premier League, continuing through to the present day with sporadic forays into the UEFA Cup slash Europa League. Now, let's head but our way to the winners and losers. Manchester United, losers. Due to a third place finish in 1998, they would be unable to complete that famous treble. They would also lose a Premier League title in 1997. Juventus, also losers. The failure to capture Zinedine Zidane in 1996 let Juve down for their successive Serie A title. They did win the Champions League in 1997 nonetheless. Alan Shearer, winner. The man who dragged Blackburn to their 1995 Premier League crown would capture his second title in 1997, something that of course would not happen in real life. Blackburn, another big winner. They won a Premier League and made a Champions League final. This video was made as part of the What If Football launch day. Each week starting from Monday morning a new scenario will be published right here on YouTube.